What's up gamers? I'm John. This is my Level Up News, where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web so you don't have to. Today's Thursday, February 15th, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. With Season 9 of Overwatch happening, there has been a lot of changes. Not only did they reset the ranks and add new skins to the game, but they also changed the mechanics of healing and health. Players now have more health and regain health faster, but to counter this, they now have bigger hitboxes. To put it in simple terms, the bullets coming out are bigger than they used to be, which is causing accuracies of players to go up by more than 25%. Have you guys been playing the new season? If so, tell me your thoughts on down below. The Division 2 was released on March 12, 2019. That's nearly 5 years, and basically the same time it'll take to make a new game. But this game is still getting updates to their global events. The latest global event is called Reanimated. The patch notes explain what the latest update brings to the global events, which are triple explosives range, increased explosion damage, and increased damage with headshots to the enemy. The premise of the event is focused on headshots, because if you kill an enemy with body shots, they will only be reanimated, until you get a headshot and see green smoke come from their head. A lot of people are still playing this game and are enjoying this global event. Let me know if you're still playing. The developers of Power World's Pocket Pair have a message for the world. They have seen the numbers slowly go down as less people play the early access game, and now they have come out and said, if you're no longer playing Power World, we still love you, and we hope you'll come back for round 2. The thing is that we don't know what round 2 is, do they mean a big update, or when the game will come out of early access. I know they don't want to see the numbers go down, but it can be a bit of stress relief with everything they want to fix while the game is in early access. Let's see what they have lined up for us next. Their our last month's state of play, we got to see a trailer for Silent Hill 2 Remake. The feedback from fans is not good. Some were excited to see the remake, but there were many more that did not enjoy the trailer. They believe it reminded them of old horror films that were bad. And to put the icing on the cake, the developer's blooper team did not like the trailer either. The CEO had this to say, Certainly, this trailer does not reflect the spirit of the game. It is not the spirit of either what it used to be or what we are creating now. We try to reflect this romantic vision of the game, which they viewed it 22 years ago. We think that when players see real gameplay, the real game, they will evaluate it in a completely different way. Was it a blunder by Sony's marketing team or was it just a bad trailer? Tell me down below. Two updates back to back means the team is working real hard to make sure Helldivers 2 delivers. Two updates ago, the game was causing games to freeze and close the application. The problem was happening on both PC and PlayStation 5, so Arrowhead Studios got to work right away and wanted to make sure to fix it swiftly, and they did that all in one day. Say what you want to say about Arrowhead and Helldivers 2. But the game is a successful hit and only makes it better when they make sure to catch things early and fix them right away. Good job, Arrowhead. So yesterday I spoke about how Blizzard had decided to make people dislike them because they were charging $30 to do a portal cosmetic. During the stream, Gold decided to dive into the game's microtransactions and found something even worse than the $30 portal. He had come across an amount that was worth $65. That's right, just to ride an exclusive horse in the game, you have to cough up $65. The part that really caught Asmongold off guard was that the mount was more expensive than the actual game. Can anybody say money hungry? The demo for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is getting an update patch after people have been complaining about the visuals in the demo. In a post on X, the developers said that the update to the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo scheduled for the 21st will apply improvements to the visual quality when selecting performance mode from the graphics options. The same improvements will be applied to the full game. This is great to hear because so many people were worried about the final product having issues with the graphics performance of the game. I haven't touched the demo because I don't want anything spoiled for me. Let me know if you guys have tried it and if so, are the graphics making the experience worse or better for you guys? And today we will finally find out what the future of Xbox will be. With all the rumors going around the industry about Xbox going multi-console, them having problems with the FTC, and will they continue to make consoles in the future? We'll just have to wait and see what Phil Spencer and the team will be telling us today. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any videos coming out.